If you ask 10 different people about transom savers, it seems like you get 10 different opinions and some pretty fiery ones. If you want my opinion, this is a heck of a lot cheaper than a new transom or engine bracket. So if you want to protect your investment, these Atwood shock absorbing transom savers are a pretty good bet. Today we're installing one on this mirror craft here. The main arm comes in three parts with a top tube, bottom tube, and a spring for shock absorption. You also get two different brackets, one that fits over a roller and a solid U bracket that bolts on permanently, and a couple of latch pins to hold the pieces together. The first step is to figure out which bracket fits your trailer. Now before you get too far, it is smart to check your engine's manual. A lot of them will say that you don't need a transom saver if you can transport the boat with the motor fully down or using the tilt lock, but a lot of them will actually recommend that you don't trailer at all without something bracing the engine. Most roads into launch ramps aren't exactly Formula One tracks, and some highways are even worse. And transom savers are a lot better at absorbing the bumps and bounces of the road than your tilt lock or your hydraulic trim, especially if they're spring-loaded like Atwood's. Before we assemble the unit for good, we need to measure the distance from the trailer to the engine's lower unit. Easier done if you've already installed the bracket you're using. Trim the engine all the way up, Hold the two parts of the arm together in place and lower the engine back down onto the unit. Let the tube slide together until you can see that last little bit of the slot in the inside tube. You want the engine as close to the trailer as possible. About as far as we can go. Slide the bolt in the hole above the one with the slot and tighten it with your fingers. That's where the spring is going to sit when you put the pieces of the unit together. We'll secure that with the latch pin here. Bada bing, bada boom. Now you can attach it to the bracket on your trailer. We use one we already knew fit to save us drilling time. Then lower the engine back down onto the transom saver. Last step, we're gonna lock everything in with this bungee cord here. That's gonna keep it all nice and tight, but it's also gonna stabilize our engine and steering mechanism while we're transporting. And that's it. Consider this transom saved.